Welcome to my channel everyone. If you are new here, I do a lot of kit videos and today being early August, I have another counterfeit kit challenge for you. Now I've only done a few of these so far, so I'm getting used to this format. Um, what the counterfeit kit challenge group does, and let me direct you to their website here, counterfeitkitchallenge.blogspot.com. On the first of the month, you can see Saturday, August 1st, 2020, they will post an inspiration kit and they encourage you to go shop your stash and use your own supplies um, and just build off of the inspiration of, of a previous kit. So this month, um, we have a hostess who is providing an inspiration kit along with some of the add-ons. And we're gonna go take a closer look at these kits. So this inspiration kit is from Hip Kit Club and it's the August 2019 kit. So these kits, as you can see, are sold out. They're no longer available. So that's another good reason to go and build something from your stash because if you like something about these kits, you might be able to draw in those elements that you like from your own supplies. Now Hip Kit offers lots of embellishment add-ons, a pocket page add-on and such, but we are just gonna look at the main kit and then we'll take a look at the embellishment pack and the project life pack to see what we can pull out of here. So when I'm looking at these images, I start thinking about what is jumping out at me. And so I've got a couple things jumping out at me. Pinks are jumping out at me, yellows are jumping out at me. I've got some kind of navy tones jumping out at me. Um, this is a very colorful piece and I believe that's a Vicky Booten. What else? I'm seeing some florals, but not a lot. I'm definitely seeing some geometrics. There's some geometrics here, here, here. Looks like the stars could even kind of fit into that realm. We've got some squares going on over here, so I'm seeing that. You can see just some simple stripes, so that fits in with the geometrics. You know, this hexagon print. Okay, um, I'm seeing lots of words, and these are kind of brush lettered, hand brush lettered words here. So maybe I will pull out um, some paint and a paintbrush and do some brush strokes. I'm seeing some circular elements. Definitely there's circles here, there's circles here, circle circles, um, lots of frames. I'm seeing lots of frame elements. And we've got an alphabet and some die cuts. Oh, tiny houses back here. There's little houses. Okay, so I've got some ideas going on from this image. Let's take a look at the other images. What have we got? So we've got lots of multicolor things going on here. It's not as pink heavy. I'm seeing oranges, little pops of blue. Oh, these are interesting. These are like old wax seal type embellishments. And I may be able to replicate that with some rubber stamps, some hot glue, and some alcohol inks. So I think I will pull that out and be inspired by that. Let's see, we've got some more watercolory bits. And that might work if I pull in my paintbrush and watercolors for doing some brush stroke letters. This alphabet's not really speaking much to me. We've got a few florals. And then we've got this whole kind of office supply theme going on. Not sure what direction that will lead me. But here again, we've got more of this brush stroke um, letters going on. So let's take a look at the last image. And this is generally the pocket kit. So the scale of this is often smaller. And here we've got a multicolor small alphabet. And I recently bought kind of a watercolor multicolor alphabet. So I think I will definitely pull that out from my stash. And here's some more office supply themes going on. And again, that is not really speaking to me right now, but here's some more frames. So I think I will find some frame stuff to work with. Uh, heart uh, enamel dots, I have plenty of those. I will definitely throw those in there. Sequins, I love to work with sequins. I will find some to fit in my kit and some wood veneer pieces. I do have plenty of that that I could add to my kit as well. So, so far I want a multicolor alphabet, some enamel dots, probably in hearts, sequins, wood veneer. Um, 
let's go back here what we were looking at oh yeah I'm gonna try working on these wax seals um, there's a couple of pops of flowers so maybe I'll think about that yeah this whole page isn't speaking to me very much besides more of the brush letters a little bit of watercolor and these seals over here and then back to the main page so pinks yellows and navies hmm not quite colors I work with a lot um, but I will go to my stash and pull some things out so if you join me for that part you can see how I take this inspiration and put it to use. I start my kit build by pulling papers from my stash and I just go in and start pulling anything that kind of catches my attention. Uh, around those buzzwords. So there were office elements, there were pinks, yellows, and teals, there were watercolor elements, there was some possible navy elements. And so I just pull out all these papers and I start putting them into categories. So we've got some geometrics, we've got categories of color, we've got categories of like watercolor feels, we've got some multicolor elements. So I take these papers and I kind of stack them up into these different categories. Anything that I'm not going to choose right off the bat, I set off to the left. And then I come down to deciding between things. So here I've got some teals and some more navy tones. And I start looking at how the teals and the navies would fit with other papers I pick. And as I'm going through all these papers, I'm finding that there's way more teal tones in the other papers. So I set the navy papers aside. And then I move on to some of my multicolored tones. And the one paper I set aside just had too many other colors going on in it. And I look through my watercolor tones and those heart, that heart paper has too many purples and navies going on, so I set it aside. The other watercolors seem to fit pretty well with the yellows and pinks and teals, so I keep those. And then I'm coming down to these stripes and geometrics and there's a, you know, a pink stripe that has too much um, grayness to it so I set that aside. Now these pink hand papers I'm really debating about. I could use them as pinks. They have back sides that might be usable. Um, so I stick them in there but I'm not sure about those ones yet. And then I turn to these uh, kind of office element pages that I picked out and now that typewriter print is just too saturated. It doesn't fit with the other tones that I've got going on so I set it aside. and. So I start piling these up based on more of these categories. So I've got the icons at the top. I've got kind of the teal um, background papers. And then I choose the pink background papers, knowing that those hand prints could go either way. They could go towards icons or they could go towards pink. And then I've got the multicolor tones on the bottom, both in kind of images and in watercolor feels. And then I'm satisfied with that. So I move on to pulling out embellishments and the first thing I pull out is a whole bunch of paper clips because that reads as office to me and then I sort through a bunch of these circle elements that I had picked up from the kit and I went with the flare idea and I pulled out heart um, enamel dots and then because I didn't have enough yellows in my heart enamel dots I pulled out some heart stickers so the nice thing about this sticker sheet is that it also has brush stroke words on it, which I was looking for, and it has some office supply elements, so that works in multiple ways. And then I turn to some wood elements, which I noticed in the kit, and I pull out cameras and hearts from that, um, and I even find a couple more enamel dot hearts. And then I'm looking at these frames. I thought I would make my own frames, but when I'm going through my stash, I find enough of a selection of neutrals and colors in the kit that I decide to just go with what I've already got on hand. And I remember to pull out the sequins that I wanted, and now this is a multicolor pack, I'll just use, you know, the colors that fit. And then I'm looking at my alphabets, and that alphabet that I thought I wanted to use, it's too saturated. I don't like the colors. So I pull out some other options, and I start sorting through those. I've got some multicolor options, a wood tone option that might work with the wood veneer elements, but then I decide I don't like that. And then between the two multicolored options, I kind of sort through and look at my paper and see what's working more. And the one option is just too saturated, so I set it aside. And then I keep a white as a neutral and I pull out some small white letters. And then I remember that I wanted to do some brush stroke elements, so I pull out some paper that I can paint on. 
and I pick a couple of tones because this set of papers has some whites and some creams to it. I pull out both and my paintbrushes and watercolor and then a punch that has an office supply theme to it. And I did make a whole bunch of these elements that are kind of faux wax seal elements. And if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you how to get a sneak peek at my um, tutorial video on that. So that is the whole kit for this build. I'll give you some close-up images of these supplies. And I will be back with a future video on some layouts that I created with all of this. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. I will have a separate video on the tutorial for how I made those faux wax seals. And because you have stuck with me to the end and watch my videos, if you go to the links in the show notes, you will find an early link to that video, which I will post publicly next week. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And if you'd like to see my future videos, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.